Alrighty guys, we are back at Lakewood Amphitheater yet again. This time, we got the El Camino out. It's got an LS. It's got 273 rear gears as of like two days ago. So that might blow up. But it's also got overdrive. So there's a good chance we'll actually make it with this car. It's fairly reliable. It's crossed the country a couple times. Let's see how this one goes. We're about to be westbound and down yet again. <sighs> Yeah, let's hope this goes better. <laughs> All right, we're on the road again. Deja vu. Just can't wait to be on the road. Here we go, cut to the time lapse. Hello, Atlanta. No gold. <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> It's been two hours and we're finally seeing this view again. This time in a much more capable vehicle though. No offense to you Daisy, but uh, the LS has you outclassed for sure. Poor Daisy. <laughs> Take her out back, put her down. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. Here we go. Up on the trip, done. We only made it what 238 miles. That's not great, could be worse though. Jankiest gas station ever. All right, guys, little status update for you. We are in Alabama somewhere, and we only made it about 200 miles on a tank of gas running triple digits. That's not ideal, that adds an extra fuel stop uh, both ways. So it's gonna slow us down a little bit, but we're making such good time that I don't know if it's gonna matter. Guess we'll see. Car's doing great though. for you guys this is the Mississippi River yeah we're going slow right now but our overall average is 93 miles an hour right now we've been hauling ass cars doing good drinking a little more fuel than we had spe expected but uh overall pretty happy except for this semi in front of me yep that's how it goes look at that American flag Westbound and down. 
Almost time for the second fuel stop. We got two more miles. Oh man, the Elka's looking good. Second fuel stop. Uh oh, gas stop pumping. There we go. I think I gotta hold it. Well, the sun has risen. Taylor is taking over driving, which is honestly super weird. I've never ridden in the passenger seat of this car, and I don't really like it. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Our overall average uh, after our last fuel stop before Texarkana is 92 miles an hour. So, we're doing pretty good. 92 miles an hour overall average, and uh, the car is doing great. Things are good. Officially in Texarkana, got the cores, putting gas banquet. in the car, and look, it's Coors Banquet, it's the right kind. I'm gonna go use the restroom, and then we're gonna get right back on the road. Just top it off all the way. Alrighty. Good old El Camino, coming in clutch.
All right, so we've had some issues with this uh, right front wheel. We thought it was the caliper sticking. Turns out the bearing is eating itself, so we got to fix that real quick. You got some grease? This is all they have. It's for like the fifth wheel. All right, we'll make it work. That's something. I it could be worse. It could be worse. But I think we'll make it live enough to, to get, get home at least. I mean, that bearing is bad, but it's not totally cooked. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that inner bearing, I don't know how it looks. Yeah, well. Oh, it's bad. It's bad because I can see through it. There's no fixing that. No. So we've been diving into this a little bit. Uh, this outer bearing actually isn't that bad. I mean, look, it's still intact. Inner bearing is gone. I mean, I don't even see pieces of it. <laughs> so the fact that this is going 100 miles an hour down the road is uh, pretty wild. But we're about to pull it apart and see if we can perhaps maybe fix it, but I'm very skeptical at this point. Might have to go to a parts store. How do you feel? I feel like we're halfway home and this is a bummer. <laughs> we were doing really good too. Yeah. yeah, but this is gonna take some attention so we don't die. Yeah. At least we made it halfway. We got the beer. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep pulling this apart. What a Will Wood Hub has. Ooh. That is junk. The whole hub is just, well, I mean, we could put a bearing in that. And yeah, but this. It's God almighty. Because it's, it's bad on the bottom. Hmm. Look at that. Yeah. That's gnarly. Yeah. I don't think I can get this off. stuck on there. <laughs> that used to be a bearing. It's uh, kind of trash now. And there's all the pieces of it. Those used to be rollers. Mm. Looks El Camino, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> it's been fun up until this been. point. All right, so pretty much our record attempt is over, but we slapped it back together enough to hopefully limp it just a mile and a half to the parts store where we could start throwing random parts at it. Should be good, right? right. <laughs> oh, you can't help but laugh at the stupid things we get ourselves into. I mean, it's really not funny, but it kind of is. Look at all that carnage. Yeah, that. Uh, that's not one, but two catastrophic failures at an attempt at this run. Yeah, see, I didn't prepare this car for this at all, though, in my defense. And it was running like 100 miles an hour the entire time. That will eat wheel bearings at some point. We've reached this point. <laughs> well, it's cobbled together with a bunch of grease on the bare metal in there that's rubbing on each other to hopefully get to the parts store. It's only a mile and a half, what could go wrong? We were just doing a hundred on that. Now we're driving on that junk. It's perfect. It's good to go. Not. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Sorry, poor little El Camino. She still runs good. Yep. We made it to the parts store and look at how, uh... yep, we just stepped back in time. This does not look like 2020. I wonder if we can fix this. We're about to find out. So we're here outside of a local Napa that is uh, pretty much shut down except for door service due to COVID-19. But they did have a grinder. And I think it's even made in the USA. And we got an extension cord and a cutoff wheel. And a bearing. And a random bearing that might work. We don't really know. And there's an outlet on that pole over there that may or may not have power. We're gonna find out. It looks relatively close. If it doesn't, I'm sure we can find some bearing that'll cram in there and at least roll better than better than solid metal on metal. <laughs> With a large gap. I'm gonna go see if that outlet works. This is good stuff, people. Not. This is not what I wanted to be doing today. At least the car still looks good. Well, it turns out that outlet over there doesn't have any power, 
But this one right here. Oh yeah. We are good to go. We are in business. <laughs> Look at this! It's beautiful! I'll let you do that. I'm gonna go move the car. <laughs> Let's not drop your new grinder. Set it down gently. Look how nice that grinder is. Alright, I'm gonna get hit by a car now. Good times. Alright guys, things have devolved into complete anarchy here. Except, it's beautiful. This is Tallulah, Mississippi? I think Louisiana. Maybe Louisiana. I'm we don't really know. <laughs> We're close to the Mississippi Louisiana line. I think it's the Louisiana. We haven't crossed the Mississippi River. All right, we're still in Louisiana. This is this is the picturesque Tallulah, Louisiana, and we're kind of broken now. We are outside of a Napa that's on the square here, and we're using a power outlet that's on the corner of the street here, and we're gonna attempt to cobble this thing together, and it is gnarly. So, check this out, it's bad. So that one, that one's actually pretty decent. That one's really good in comparison. Yeah, the outer bearing looks great. Inner bearing, not so much. Uh, where's that other one? It's in here. I just tossed everything in here, so we wouldn't lose it. All right, so we'll, we're gonna show you the carnage here. You're gonna get a, a good view at what we did to this poor thing. All we wanted it to do was sustain 100 miles an hour. And let's buy some real grease from this place too. I yeah, probably agree with that statement. I don't know what what you have against the fifth little grease I got. It's got metal in it. Yeah, I'll just what you want. Did you see how metallic it was? Yeah, I did. It's grease nice. shouldn't have it's metal. It's nice is what you're trying to say. That thing will come off eventually. We're fortunate that it will, will come off. Yeah, are you ready to behold the glory that's behind this hub? I don't know if they are. And we drove it about a mile and a half after we saw this to this location. And we were just doing 100 miles an hour. Oh, you might have to, well, you'll get it out. Eventually. I think we got a chance of still beating some people. I also think that. We'll definitely beat uh, the Porsche. Well, yeah, the Porsche didn't finish, so that's kind of easy. And we're gonna beat Daisy. Because <laughs> Daisy only made it 20 miles in. Yeah, Daisy got last. Just ahead of Kyle, who didn't run. <laughs> here, we just need an overall view of what's happening here. There's the car. Taylor's working on getting that uh, hub off. And look at that beautiful courthouse. There's always a bright side. There we go. Now you get to see that. Oh. That was a bearing at one point. It's worse than it did the last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. So now we get to break out the grinder that you just bought. And cut it all to pieces. And cut that little piece that's still there. We need to wipe it off first. Yeah. Um, so we get to cut this piece of the bearing off the spindle so we can put a new one on it. Look, you've even got safety glasses on. That, is, that just hurts to watch. Yikes. Maximum destruction. I don't know if you got all the way through that. I'm not sure either. I'm trying to 
be gentle-ish. Yeah. That's funny. I mean, you're gonna need a new spindle at this point, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And move it off? Yeah, a little bit right here. It at least broke apart. Oh yeah. Did you get it off hand? They just uh Oh, look at that. We have movement. That's a good sign. Yeah. It's not completely welded together. Yes, it will. I can't wait to see what the spindle looks like. Now let's try and beat it off. Say what? <laughs> now it's gonna come. <laughs> come on, Taylor! <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. Uh huh, that's what they always say. more round than what I thought it might be. Yeah, I mean. Do we need to sand on that a little with the Probably. disc? Probably. I don't have any sandpaper. Or should we just hammer it on? It's a tough thing to decide. As long as it just makes it. The bottom's what needs some love here. Okay. That's how you refine spindles. So I want awesome. some it's regular grease. Should I get some sandpaper? If they've got any, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. Just like 80 grit. Yeah. Uh, and I'll get the brake clean. Yeah. And that'll do it, I think. Yeah, I think grease is the main component that we're liking that we don't have. I'll get like 100 grit so I can polish that out a little too. Yeah. Got to make another trip to the auto parts store. Oh, luckily it's right there. So for some reason, we're how many hours into the trip now, stranded outside an auto parts store? This is the moment. He wants to sell the satellite, all of a sudden, right now. He didn't before, but now he's sure of it. Why? Sure. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> he doesn't like it anymore. I still love my car, even though it's broken right there. We're about to be back on the road, and I don't know if we'll do 100, but we're, we're still gonna get a good time. We're gonna get an okay time. I think it'll be good. up okay let's try it again oh yeah I think uh, I think with just a little bit more sanding it's gonna be fine
trip with Taylor, they said. It'll be fun, they said. That's right. Just come in, just ride my car. It'll be fine. <laughs> you said that. I don't know if you said that, but it was implied. No, you said that after mine broke. No, but you said that on your car first. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's not fair to turn that around on me. <laughs> Well, what about the brakes? What, what's the issue there? I don't think we... Going? Well... How you doing, man? We're, right. uh, we're doing all right. I just couldn't help from stopping and looking. Did the end time I see old vehicle, it draw my attention. Oh, I'm the same way. I get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're a little broken right now, but we're, we're fixing it. Yeah. This yeah. has a bunch of aftermarket parts on it, so it's not exactly like you can just walk in a parts store and right, get it. Right, right, right. But we'll make it work. I didn't think you probably had one available. We're about to find out. <laughs> Yeah, we got no front brakes anymore. Why isn't all the fluid gone? That's... How's the caliper look? Did it wear through on something? It's possible. It's pretty worn right there. Maybe no. I mean, it's so. Well, that's what I'm saying. If this goes over it, because this is the other one, and then you can hit it with a hammer properly, centered. Right. Oh, God. It's just not going to go. You have a big socket? Not that big. Yeah, a piece of pipe would be great that would fit over that. Let me run. I'll just right around the corner. Let me run to the house. I might be trying to find your feet. All right. I can't guarantee we won't have it fixed when you get back, I but uh, <laughs> I might be being optimistic there. What's your plan? I'm just trying to think what else we could do. You could, uh, hit that. We can get it off, so. I can't see. I have no idea. Because <laughs> if we had something to fit over that, we could get some real force on it and it would go on. Yeah, it would. It might not ever come off, but... Well, I need a new spindle at this point anyway, pretty much. Yeah. What if we put the hub on there and tighten it? It might, but I don't know. That blues. This won't be the final install. I'm being too picky for what it is. Uh, yeah, it's not on there far enough. Oh, never mind. That's gonna take some force. Just don't strip that and spend on that. I don't think you'll be able to. But. Yeah, that'd be terrible. That would, uh, that would ruin everything. There's no fixing that. So we couldn't actually get the uh, bearing onto the spindle, so now we're using the actual hub as a press to tighten it onto the spindle. That sounded much more professional than this actually is. Uh, Things you should always... Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> Unless you're stuck on the side of the road in Tallulah Falls and, and you're still on the fog. Oh, yeah, that's fair. How'd we do? I mean, it definitely went some more. It looks like it's a hollow, eh? It isn't all the way, but it's damn close. I think this is going to work. Well, we really don't even need the caliper on this side because I'm pretty sure that caliper is so worn through that it's leaking brake fluid. 
from where the the pass it passes over from this side to this side. Pretty sure it is a uh, it is toasted. Found the seat. That's an expensive. Uh, Oops. Gonna be spendy. I'm used to like garbage brakes. Yeah. Well, it's... These are nice brakes. <laughs> Dang At least it. It's only one. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, shout out to Willwood for making something so quality that even though it failed, we were still able to drive 100 miles an hour on it and not die. We got it all back together, should I say pretty much Taylor got it all back together. I kind of filmed and handed him tools and he got it handled. And I ruined my best bandit shirt. Oh man, nice work though. I think we're about to be back on the road, eastbound and down. Look at that, she's back together. Wheel on the ground. No real play in the bearing? Maybe. You killed it, man. Let's get back on the road. I feel like it's good for triple digit. Yikes. We are back on the road again. Taylor did some pretty nice uh, rigging on that uh, wheel bearing, and she's rolling right along. Hey, look, no noise. I may not be the guy that you want to make your car the most beautiful it could ever be, but I'm the guy that you want on the side of the road in Tallulah when the car breaks down to get it back on the road. You got it, man. And I filmed all of it, so it's going to be really entertaining. Alrighty, guys, we are back on the road. Taylor did some very, very fine rigging on that wheel bearing. We're doing 85 miles an hour right now, just testing it, making sure it's okay. I think it's good to go. We are back on our way to Atlanta, rolling right along, and our overall average is still 77 miles an hour. What? That's pretty good. That is not bad. Not bad for a pretty catastrophic failure. But 91 is what we were when we quit. Yeah, we were at 91 when the car broke. So it dropped a little. But uh, not too bad, actually. We'll take it. East bound and down, baby. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. over the mighty Mississippi River. I have always loved this bridge. And come on, look at that American flag up there. How good is that? that entire leg on a cobbled together wheel bearing and only rear brakes. Rear brakes are smoking a little after coming off the interstate. They smell real bad. I wish you could smell this through the phone. It smells like burnt clutch, but it's brakes. <laughs> anyway, last gas stop. Both foots on the floor, right? Oh, both foots on the floor and it did nothing. Back in Georgia, 
again and our car still in one piece somehow some way oh my goodness what a trip if cars can talk yeah <laughs> we don't want to know it's fine it's okay keep your secrets El Camino this is the last final little stretch the El Camino has done it despite a lot of hardship yes and look like you said police escort up ahead they don't know that they're doing that but it's kind of cool. Turn right on Friar Road. If they only knew they were bringing in some felons. Well, I don't know about felonies. Eh, maybe not. Some, some severe misdemeanors. Class 3 misdemeanor or something. Something to that effect. Don't hit them. <laughs> oh, that would be so bad. That would be the, the right topper there. Turn right. Are they joining our party? Looks like it. Gord is pulling in. Police escort, how cool is that? What time is it? Time is 6.51. Holy crap. So there you go, the El Camino right there made the run all the way to Texarkana from Atlanta and back again without serious catastrophic failure. It pulled it off and we did it in just over 17 hours. In theory, out of the seven cars that ran, we're going to be on the podium in third place. They beat us by like 15 minutes. We beat them by like 15 minutes. Both of them finished at the same time and left at the same time. And there's one more car out there that's probably going to put us all to shame. Yeah. Oh, well, though. That was an epic adventure, and that was a great time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Now I got to take a second and give a huge shout out to Fred Ashmore and his father who laid down a ridiculous time of 14 hours and 59 minutes from Atlanta to Texarkana and back. The most epic beer run of all time. If you want to hear the full story on that, I'll put a link in the description to the full VinWiki video where he explains how he did that. Oh, and also, Taylor and I are building another car to take on this challenge yet again. And it's going to be a Gen 3 Hemi-powered Superbird. So stay tuned for that.